me. Okay, do I have healing? I don't. Oh, shoot. Fuck. I should have brought healing with me. Okay, where does that put me? I don't mind that I died. But where does that put me? I hope I don't need to redo that much. Well, I need to refight Yawn. Imagine if they killed an iron golem. Yeah, let's see. Skater says, oh, good. Glad you're back as friends. Yeah, no, like it. Like I think we all we don't really talk about it. I joke about it occasionally. But I'm like, oh, yeah, that was really dumb. And that was really silly. But we don't really talk about it. It's just like, well, it happened. And then we moved on. Oh, wait, was this literally before I fought the snake? Wait, hold on. So where? Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm not actually that far back, am I? Okay, then. Oh, you know what? That wasn't too bad. Take an F8 with me, and we will leave it at that. You're also glad it is amusing to think about. Now, it is. It is. It was a really, a really stupid thing that lasted way, way too long. But sometimes that's how certain friendships are, right? Like, we're, like, we've always been good. It's just that one time he was going through a lot. He had to kind of go through his own stuff. Because of that, it kind of bled over a bit too much into the friendship, and then it just kind of kind of exploded, and then he chilled out, we chilled out, and it was it, it became really good. So, like I said, all is well. All has been well for a while now. But that was probably the last time I played Minecraft, was when that happened. I don't know, I guess the server just felt tainted after that, so we just never really went back to it. But maybe maybe at some point again. Like I said, maybe once again, maybe I'll maybe I'll do it for some of my friends again, except I'll probably specify, hey, yeah, let, let's not be that chaotic here. Let, let, let's just let's let's have have us some fun, right? We don't need to go for the full chaos energy. Maybe I can not get bit this time, too. I think I have two more shots. Yeah. Ah, he's wise to me. He wisened up. Oh, he wisened up. No, 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 no. Is that it? Nope. Oh! There we go. Didn't even get bit. Not even once. Please? Not even once? Okay. Not even... Wait. Okay, well, I can't aim at you anymore. Or, like I said, for the server, for the community, I think that would be fun. I just want to do more community stuff. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to get at. I want to do more community stuff. Movie nights, even. Because I was actually thinking about how I would do that. Because I want to record, like, Let's Watch stuff now, too, right? And I think it might be fun where I can do that in the Discord as well, kind of. Right? I'll figure out a way. Snake time. Yeah, Snake got absolutely wrecked. Yon got absolutely destroyed on that one. Don't even get to do the Rebecca stuff. Which is fine. By me. I don't know what other good community games do you guys think we would have? Because, like, we have... We have... 
Minecraft, of course. We have Mario Kart, which, I mean, we could do. We have... Uh, what was the other one I mentioned earlier? Jackbox. We have Jackbox. We could do uh, various little drama things and et, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what else we could do. Because I would like a variety. Especially if some people don't have certain things. I don't know. I'm not too sure. This is all mostly going to be when we get the Discord figured out, though. I want to get everything looking all nice, and I want to get it looking good. I want to get it looking better. Okay, now let's not die to the Crimson Head this time, please. Not die to Zombie Abe. Oh, why couldn't it have been that easy the first time? Why? I mean, I mean, you know what? This timeline is better. I didn't get bitten by the snake. I didn't get hit by zombie Abraham Lincoln there. Overall, this timeline worked out really well. I'm kind of glad I died. Very nice, thank you, thank you. See, sometimes I can look good when playing games. Sometimes I look awful. In this instance, you know what? I'll give myself some credit. I did, I did pretty good on that one. So let me think here, let me think here. I think I can take all this stuff with me. I don't want to go into the safe room because I don't want to get trapped. Yeah, I don't want to get trapped. Yeah, no, I should be fine. Ah, okay, let's see if I button my shit fast. See, you can. Wait, wasn't I on fine health or was I on yellow caution? I don't remember. I don't know what it is. There, there's something about the way you can button mesh that I think makes it work, but I don't actually know. No, doggos. Positivity goes a long way. I agree. I agree. That's why I try to be as positive as I can most of the time. Of course, some days, some days it's obviously going to be harder than others, but. But yeah, you try, try to do what you can with uh, positivity, right? I go ahead and grab these. Now, is that it for in here? Tis. Yeah, let's do a heal. Let's do a safety heal. And then I still have two slots, which should be fine, I think. I think two slots should be acceptable. Now, I'm thinking... It was, what, revenge and destruction, I think? So, north and west? We'll see if I- we'll see how good my memory is. Whoops. Okay, well, I think he- I think he has to go west anyway. I think he's the west one. Stay away from the woods, huh? Well, guess where I'm going.
Now, if it is the same, then it should be north, I believe. And if I remembered correctly, hopefully I did. All right, good. Nice. Good job, brain. Good job, memory. Worked out well for me. Haven't thought of multiplayer stream games in a while, but yeah, Jackbox is always nice. I think Jackbox is, is definitely going to happen a lot. So I'm just thinking of variety. Variety is always nice. Only thing that scares me on this game are the spiders. Scare the hell out of me. Spiders! Dude, so I am like mildly arachnophobic. I actually had to deal with a spider today. Which was not all that fun. It was a very tiny spider. And I'll admit it was very small. But, eh, still, mildly arachnophobic. Not as bad as I used to be. Uh, but the spiders in this game also, also kind of squick me out a little bit. They don't scare me that much. But they do make me go like, oh... You're kind of hairy, and I don't like you very much. It is the spice of life, after all. Oops. We had to deal with a spider today. I was going to go make some lunch. And I was going to take up some dishes as well. Because I, 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 I was kind of lazy. I kept a couple dishes in my room over the past couple days. And I go to open my door and you know how like Like you know how where the door kind of meets the wall, right? You know where the door meets the wall so you open the door and like there's there it is a spider a, a little spider was just right there And I was like, whoa, geez, and then Yes, I keep bug spray in my room just in case Just in case there's everyone around I just sprayed it I feel bad. See here's the thing right like I feel bad every time I, I do it like every time I need to kill a spider, I feel bad. <laughs> like I will be honest, I don't I don't want to kill them. It's just I don't like having them around and it's where I live and I I'd rather they not also live here with me. That's but I feel bad, right? That's kind of the thing. I, I don't like killing them. It's just what I need to do to feel comfy in my own home. Nah, I know you got some people go like, oh, you could just release it. No, I'm not get I'm not getting anywhere near that. I'm not touching it. I'm not going near a spider. No, thank you. So, I will say, scariest spider that I think I've ever seen in a video game. Now, apparently in Grounded, it's really bad. To the point where they have an arachnophobic mode. Uh, but in my personal gameplay experiences... Um, Skyrim probably has the spiders that kind of creep me out the most because they look too real and they're very big and they come at you i'm not i'm not about that uh skater says where are you from oh what skater says where are you from if you don't mind me asking i don't mind at all i am from alberta canada we don't have uh well we have some some nasty well i say nasty well i think we do have some venomous ones we do have some pretty nasty and big spiders around. None that I've really ever seen. I've only seen like one big spider in like my life, I think. And funnily enough, that was in this house. Right over there, past the doorway. Where, yeah, that was not very fun. Because <laughs> yeah, that spider was like... Now this was a while ago. This was like, I think a couple of years ago. There was a spider that was just like on my wall. Because so, so I live in a, in a basement suite, right? And coming down the stairs, well, you know, you come downstairs, right? And, um, well, there's a wall, obviously. I'm, I'm trying to think how I can explain it, like, and make it sound different. But no, it's just literally a wall. And I remember coming out of my room once, and I was going to go upstairs, and there's just a spider. Just, like, like, honestly, probably about the size of my hand, like, in terms of, like, how the legs are, right? Like, how long the legs were. And it was like right there and I was like, holy shit. Like that sent a shiver down my spine. I did not like that. I was like, holy shit, that's such a big spider. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Um, so I got my bug spray and I sprayed it. Now normally what a spider does when you spray it 
and this actually kind of disturbed me a little bit, was normally when you spray it, the spider kind of does like a little bit of a, a bit of a shiver and you get, it moves and you can tell that like it's dying or there's something wrong with it, right? Like when you spray it. Oh, uh, this one didn't really do that. It moved like slightly. Oh, there's the bot. See, thank you, bot, for actually doing a thing. But it like it like moved a little bit, and then it just kind of moved like a, a, like it moved a very tiny bit, and I was like, oh god, it's not it's not doing anything. And then the spider, so the spider would also like normally fall off the wall and then die, right? But this one is this one just like stayed there, and I'm like, holy shit. I don't like this. And then I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to go back in my room and I'm just going to wait. And then I waited and I came back out and it was still there. And then I left again and then it moved, but it moved farther away from the stairs. So once again, mildly arachnophobic, I had to like will myself to like go up the stairs past it. And I did this. And for reference, like my mom lives in the upstairs suite, right? So my mom lives like in the upstairs. I got the, I got the basement to myself. Um, and now this is how you know it was actually a decent sized spider. My mom usually jokes at me with spiders because I'll say like, mom, it's a big spider. And she'll come down and she'll be like, like, ah, oh, that's the, the little tiny thing. But she comes down to have a look. I'm like, mom, can you just please deal with the spider for me? Like, please. And she comes down and she looks at it and she goes, holy shit. That's a big spider. And I was like, yeah, I know, right? That one's actually big. Turns out, I guess the spray actually did kill it. It was just, like, stuck on the wall still, but I guess it was dead. But I knew that it was a, a legitimately big spider when even my mom went, holy shit, that's big. I felt kind of validated in that instance. I was like, yeah, see, for now you agree with me that some of these spiders are actually big. Uh, and Skater, if you don't mind me asking, just because I'm now kind of curious, if you don't mind sharing, where might you be from? Do you live where there's even bigger spiders? I hope not. <laughs> you know, the worst thing about a spider, by the way, is when I see one, like when I see a spider, one of the worst things is when you suddenly feel them like all over the place that's kind of one thing with being like arachnophobic right is that when you see a spider and even when you know it's gone and it's dead right you'll kind of feel like it's on you right like you'll feel like it's still kind of there because there's so many times when i'll see a spider and then i spray it and i'm pretty sure it's dead but i don't see it anymore or even when i do see that it's dead I go like, I feel like something on my arm and I go and I'm like, okay, it's not there. But you know, you feel it. You feel like a shiver, right? Maybe, maybe that's just different for me. But that's kind of how I think is a good way to describe arachnophobia is like, for me, even when a spider is dead, it still kind of lingers there in my mind. It's still there as a presence. You know, it, it kind of lives in my head. Let's see, Bass Ackford says, I've seen some big spiders, but not recently in this apartment. Yeah, no, it's big, big, big spiders suck. Big spiders suck. It's like, no, thank you. Like, that was really the only legitimate big spider I've ever seen. All the other ones, I admit, were pretty small. But that one actually made me really question that, you know, how big the spiders actually are. Oh, you're in the UK. Oh, very nice. I would love to visit the UK one day. I would absolutely love to visit. To me, it seems like such a beautiful place. And I know it rains a lot, but that's also partially... Well, so I've heard it rains a lot. But that's actually partially why I think it's beautiful. Because I love the rain. Oh, I hate it. I hate it when she screams. But I love the rain. I love the rain. That's kind of one thing I don't like about living in a basement suite. But there's some item in there. Is Lisa still in here? I think she leaves. I've never actually gone back in after leaving. I think she disappears.
Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Because I don't want to miss an item. It's probably just an ink ribbon. Oh, no, it was this. It was a family picture. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. I learned something. I've literally never gone back in the cabin before. Uh, but one thing that actually kind of sucks about living in a basement suite, because I, well, I used to live above ground, right? I used to live above ground. And um, on my window, there's actually a tin awning or aluminum awning. I don't quite remember what it was. It was either tin or aluminum, but it was so nice when it rained because you could just open up the window and you could just like hear the mm, the beautiful sound of like, the rain hitting, hitting like that awning. And I do miss that. I don't really have that anymore. Like I have a window like right there, but you don't really see anything out of it. You don't really like hear rain or anything, right? So that's something I kind of miss. So now what I do is I'll find like one of those YouTube videos that has like rain sounds. And sometimes I'll just put it on because I want to listen to rain, right? Lots of rain, snow, and windy weather. So, all sounds pretty all right to me. I mean, not like we don't get rain here, but I don't know. I, I, I would like it to rain more. I love the rain. I just love the rain. I don't know. Call me weird, but I love the rain. I'll, my family has. Look, my mom's always... My mom's the same. She says her kind of weather is cloudy, windy, with some rain. That's my mom's kind of weather. Uh, Bass Soccer says, I also love rain. It was less than 30, minus 30 degrees outside. Yeah, kind of hard to get rain when it's uh, that chilly out, right? What do I have on me? Okay, I, I have everything I really need. Yo, this is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha team. Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad, this is Chris. Brad? Brad. Damn. This thing's broken. All right, let's try not to piss off the doggos. And yeah, we'll, we'll actually take this blue herb this time. We'll take it. Won't leave it behind. It's your last thing to hear rain, so I agree with you. Rain is nice. It is. It's so, it's so pretty. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, one thing I would like one day, one day, no, even if it doesn't happen, it's a nice idea, is to have, like, I guess one of those kind of typical American houses with, like, the patio. You know, like, how you have the patio with, like, the awning and... Like a chair or something out there that you can just sit in. I think that'd be really nice. And then if it rains, just like... Or have one of those um, enclosed kind of like greenhouse spaces, I guess. Like, I don't know. Just just something where you can just like chill out, listen to some rain. Mm, uh, it just sounds so pretty to me. I can indeed hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Yeah, rain is nice. Honestly, running water is nice too. Like, I also love showers. I know this is gonna be this is gonna be a little a little bit different. It's not. I, I swear, I'm not. I'm not suddenly going like, oh yeah, rain's nice. I love showers. Right. But, like, I love just the sound of water, I guess. So, I like having showers, and part of that is because I can just chill out there and listen to the water, right? Like, listen to the water as it hits the... What 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 are, what are bathtubs made out of again? They're, they're made out of, like... Porcelain or whatever, right? Like, I don't know. Well, it's a toilet, but I, I don't know. Uh, bad, bad times are made out of something. But the, it, it all sounds nice to hear, like, hear the water, like, in the shower. Like, I don't know. It's just so comfy. You know, it's so comfy. Like, I always tell people, if I'm, if I'm either feeling sick 
or if you or if I'm nervous about something, you can probably tell because I will have more showers on those days. Like normally I have like a shower like maybe once a day, depending, right? Sometimes like once every other day, but typically if I can, I try to have a shower like once a day because to me, it's just nice. It's nice. It's relaxing. Um, but if I have like more, like typically that means I'm usually nervous about something, right? Nervous or concerned or there's something on my mind, basically. Because having a shower just calms me. It just calms me down. I do my best thinking in the shower. See, so Bass Actress is porcelain, I think. Okay, so to, yeah, porcelain, okay. I'll put the shotgun away. And Skater says, maybe some thunder too, as that can be relaxing. I love the sound of thunder. Give me a good thunder shower and I'm in absolute heaven. I may as well pick up the herbs. I can just toss them in the in the chest. Yeah, so I, I, I like that kind of stuff. Are there any other sounds I, I like that make me comfy? Nah, mostly just rain, I think. Well, fire, like a fireplace. Like, that's also kind of nice. You hear like a crackling fire. So I don't know how common this is in other places on the world or in the world. But at least in my part of Canada, during winter, I believe it's only really during winter as well. There's like this channel that I've always referred to as the fire log channel or the fireplace channel. Because it's literally just a channel of like a fireplace going. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's literally just a fireplace going. And that's all it is. But it's such a comfy, comfy thing just to have on, you know? And just listen to it. You hear the fire crackling. It's like, ah, yes, please. Yes, please. Give me some of that. that see, it sounds like such a Canadian thing, too, like when I say it, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, the fire, the fireplace channel. It's like, of course, right? Who doesn't have a fireplace channel? Good God. But it, it's, it, it seems like such a Canadian thing to me. Just to have... Because cause it, it, it's something that you could associate with, like, warmth, right? It's like, well, the warmth of a fire on a cold Canadian evening. Like, it sounds so stereotypical, but it's true. It's what we have, right? And we've had that since... since ever since I can remember. Ah, spider. No... Oh, shotgun shells. I will take you. I will take you, but there's like a bit of an asterisk with that. I'm gonna need to put you away again. Oh, the book. Well, I see. I need to take the book as well. Well, I need the book. What's in this? Green or blue herb? I mean. It's to save time. I'll just eat it. Because with Jill, I kind of realized I, I had a lot of had a lot of healing items. I don't really need that many. Tavern music is good. Like Witcher Three music. Have you played that game? I've not actually played The Witcher Three yet. It's on my list. It's on my list, as, along with all the other Witcher games. But that did remind me. That that does remind me. Oblivion music. Oblivion music. Ah, oh, dude. There was, like, one time when... I think it was one of my friends. We were doing, like, a game of Pathfinder. 
and he had he had like music playing he had like music to, to set the scene right and some of it was like very familiar music and i was like where is that from and i was like oh my god that's oblivion oh i remember oblivion music and then there, i literally spent the rest of that night listening to the oblivion ost because the oblivion ost is so good it's so good like i still remember like i think it's shaden hall that has like one of my favorite tracks from it, I think it's Shaden Hall, or maybe it's um, what's the one that starts with a B? There's one that starts with a B, I think. But ah, uh, oh. I I even have such a vivid memory, such a vivid vivid memory, of just walking around that town, with like I think the sunrise happening, and then just like hearing the music, and I was like, man, this is just so peaceful. Or riding around on your horse during the, the night time. Like that was so peaceful. I remember so much. I remember just riding because I didn't fast travel in that game. So, so in Oblivion, I actually didn't not did not know fast travel existed for a long time. I didn't know fast travel existed, so I literally walked from place to place. But I felt like that made the game more fun for me because it made it more immersive. Because I actually had to spend time going from town to town. Right, and going from city to city and village to village, of course, right? Um, so I spent a lot of time on the road, and that is why I today don't use fast travel in Oblivion or, well, Skyrim when I played it. I want to get back and actually play some more Skyrim or like the Fallout games. I don't use fast travel in that because I love the immersion that I get uh, by not doing that. But like that gave me just so much, like so many good memories. Cause like riding on your horse, the night time comes, you have the night music that plays and you can look up and just like see the stars in the sky. It looked so beautiful back then. Like nowadays, nowadays I, I'd probably play the game again and go like, man, yeah, this doesn't look anywhere near what I remember, how I remember it looking. But, ah, uh, just the experience was just so good. And then, hey, little spider, you twerking? Please don't twerk at me anymore, spider. Oh, shit, he's climbing the stairs. Hmm, you didn't come up here before when I was playing as Jill. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm just gonna see if I can run past it. I'm gonna, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, it poisoned me, didn't it? Ah, uh, now I could use that blue herb. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. I'll just go eat a blue herb quick. Okay, I got so many good memories out of Oblivion. And there's this one memory, which I'll probably talk about again whenever I get around to playing Oblivion on stream or on recording or whatever it is I'm going to do with that. Because there's this one instance where the game scared the absolute crap out of me. And I, to this day, I still don't know. I still don't know what it was that that did it. Like, it, like that makes it like even spookier to me. Because I remember playing the game, and I was riding on my horse, and I was just outside of like the main city, and I was crossing a bridge, when all of a sudden I heard this like really, like this really scary like snarl, like like this like the snarl of like a wolf or something, right, or some kind of dog. And I very vividly remember pausing the game because it sounded like it was right in my ear. And I remember pausing the game and going, uh, was that in the game or was that like in real life or something? Right. Like I like like that sent a shiver down my spine and it took me a little bit, but I unpaused the game. There was nothing around me. There was absolutely nothing around me. I know I've had some people say, well, no, it was just like a wolf in the game. No, it was not because there's nothing near me at all. I looked around. Nothing attacked me. Nothing attacked me at all. I was perfectly safe. I, I, I did a look around the area and there was nothing there. I still don't know what made that sound happen. I, I still don't even know if it was in the game or not. Or if like just somehow I heard a snarl. I don't know. I don't know. But it still kind of creeps me out to think about it. 
because like it sounded so real and I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the game but I don't think it was in real life either because what would have made that sound right so it's one of those mysteries one of those mysteries that I'll probably never solve but I don't know that that was something And I know, I know for a fact that it was not um, a wolf in the game. And that's my creepy oblivion story. Very creepy pasta-ish, but it was all real. I promise. I wouldn't. I wouldn't lie about that. Uh, let's see. Skater says, once my status thing goes away so I can read the message properly, Skater says, I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. You take your time. Take all the time you need, in fact. Because we will still be here. So I don't think I need to go... This room is scary, right? This room has a scary thing. Does it not? Maybe it doesn't. Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Pleasant. Not very pleasant. Okay, well, whatever. I can at least fix this. Bass Hacker says, of course I believe you. Well, thank you. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what it was. I still, like, to be fair, I could be, I could be exaggerating it in my head. Because I remember it being really loud and very real. But, I don't know, right? I don't know. Like, the thing is, I just don't, I just can't explain it. Right? That's kind of a thing. If I could explain it, I could at least go, like... Yeah, I, I could at least have something, right? Also, I guess because I triggered him to leave, I guess I don't need to unplug the bathtub. Interesting. In a way, I can't hope it happens again whenever I play through it. Because I want to hear it. Like, I want to know. I want to know what caused it. I guess I can get the canteen. I guess I can get the fuel canteen. Ah, damn it. I thought I could avoid that. Well, I can, but I guess it was just too far to the right. So, yeah, that's, that's my one creepy game experience. That was actually legitimately creepy and not because of the game. Although that game was pretty creepy. Because uh, I even remember finding it really creepy, like the trolls in the in that game, like the cave trolls. Those creep me out a lot. Those are like really scary to me. I think it's because they look like big gorillas. Yeah, discard that key. Get it out of here. Because because they look like big gorillas, right? And they move fast. And I think they could. I think they could regen health. And I'm pretty sure they made a really creepy noise. I don't know. When I replay that game again, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun. See, that's another game that I want to replay. Although if I do, I'm playing it with mods. I, like like with Skyrim, I, I wouldn't... I don't want to play Skyrim with mods because I feel like I want to at least experience the vanilla game first. But with Oblivion, I'm going to do at least one mod. 
And that mod is like the leveling mod where you don't need to do all the BS to get to level, right? Because if you don't know, um, in Oblivion, the leveling, the leveling system is really bad. It, it's not really that good. Uh, like, it's not good at all. Because you kind of need to, like, it's more realistic, I guess. But it doesn't make any sense from a gameplay perspective. Because the idea is the, the, what you do affects how many points you get to put into the level. So, like, if you jump around a lot you can, or run a lot, you can put more into your athletics or acrobatics or something. And if you shoot with your bow more, you can put more into, like, your archery skills. You swing the sword more, you get to put more into your, your, your skills. But you got to do that. And if you want to be efficient, you got to actually, like, train yourself, I guess. And then you got a level and then you get your points to allocate. It's really bad. It's it's really not good. It's not a good system. It's because, you know, you can get like no points at all to put into your stuff. If you don't like train yourself like it's it's so bad. It's such a bad leveling system. And the funny thing is, I never thought it was bad. Like when I played the game, I was like, oh, yeah, it's just how the game works. I didn't I didn't care until later. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, this is actually pretty garbage of a leveling, leveling system. So if I play through that game on stream or on recording or anything, I am going to use the mod that makes it so you just get max points. That you can distribute because I don't I don't really need to do the whole. I don't need to do the the training stuff that would just be boring both for me and anybody watching wouldn't be very fun all right burn the corpse so let's go ahead and put some stuff away Uh, I, I'm honestly really excited to play some of those RPGs for you guys. It's so good. They're so good. They're so good. Like, I, I like, I really want to play through Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas on recording as well, probably. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'd stream those for reasons that I've stated before. I don't think people would really like that I don't fast travel. <sighs> Is that just going to happen every time now? Did I, did I move the box in a really poor way? I can get on there without triggering it. Hmm. I don't know. That's not too good, though. That's not too good. So let's do a, let's do a full heal check. Let's do a quick full heal check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight full heals. See, I'm doing good. I'm doing more than good, in fact. Now, do I want to get rid of the pistol? I don't think I need it. I don't think I need these. Um... I bet. I have so many games I want to play for you guys. So many. This is going to be a good year, I think. I think it's going to be a good year for the, the stream channel. And the YouTube channel, even. Like, honestly, the YouTube channel is doing a lot better than I thought it would at this point. Maybe because I've been uploading more regularly, but it seems like a lot more people are subbing to it. Like, on a fairly regular basis. And, like, even a lot of the videos are even getting, like, decent views, interestingly enough. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not like, you know, amazing. It's not like, oh my God, thousands of views, but it's like, oh, you know, getting enough. I'm getting enough for the size and for like the weird niche that I probably have. Like I said, it's not like I play like Minecraft yet or Fortnite or anything on the channel. So I'm not going to be hitting like super big numbers because, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not playing like the super popular games. Um, And the fact that I don't do like any of that algorithm stuff 
then I just do like a thumbnail that I think works and I have stuff in the description and tags and stuff that I think work. They're honestly doing pretty good. So I'm very satisfied with both how the stream channel and how the YouTube channel have been going. Best Accurate says I should still watch a bit more or I still should watch a bit more often if you want, right? Like if you want, I do recommend at least watching the exclusive stuff that I put on there, right? Like the the like the demo that I'm gonna be recording, the <clears throat> stuff with Persona, and anything else that I throw on as an exclusive, I recommend it. But that's probably because it's gonna be the only place you're gonna really be able to watch it, right? But I mean, you watch it if you want, right? I'm not gonna, not gonna force. I'm not gonna beg anybody. I'm not gonna, but I'll, I'll promote it. Like I'll promote it. I mean, that's why I have the bot set up too, right? I'll promote the YouTube channel, but watch if you want. No pressure. Like that's the other thing. Like there's no pressure to it. Okay, I'm gonna go in here with the expectation that I won't need to heal but we'll see if I do. Richard. Get a cutscene here. Oh, Richard's here. Hey, bud. Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard. Bye, Richard. So yeah, in both timelines, Richard perishes. He just perishes in a different way. There's no further use for the ski. Discard, chuck it. Now, is there anything in here? I mean, there is, but I think it's down the ladder, I guess. Uh, is there anything over yonder this way? In case we drop an oil pressure, open valve number two. Up to the aqua ring. Okay, that's good. That's all handy dandy. I don't see. Oh, oh, wait, because the items are back here, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I, I vaguely remember that now. <laughs> yeah, we don't want a time parad paradox, exactly. I kind of feel bad for Richard, though. He, he really is just destined to die. Oh, good thing I kept that one herb on me. Um, do I need to do a switch here? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I will press it. There you go. <clears throat> now we pissed off Neptune. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. I need to release the safety, which is over here. Release it. Over here, control this. Reaching thirty percent of pressure threshold. No Neptune, leave me alone, please. So it's valve number two. Okay, I need to release. No, 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 no. Release the release the safety, please. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. <laughs> Man, I feel bad for Richard. Always destined to die. You know. Kind 
Kind of makes me feel bad for the guy. Yeah, I drain the water. Get that water out of here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now we go down this way. I always thought it was kind of neat, though, how Richard dies in two completely different spots, depending on which character you play. Which, of course, means Chris doesn't get the auto shotgun until, well, presumably now. I assume I get it now. Assuming I can find Richard's body. Oh, there it is. Well, it's not his body, but I found his gun. I will take the assault shotgun. Now we go here. That's probably why I got bitten as Jill, too. I, I probably, when I played this before, I probably knew to took my gun off so I would run faster in the water. Rest in pizza pie, Neptune. There you go. Overloaded it. Uh, do I got to do it from the front? I guess I got to do it from the front. There you go. The residence key for the gallery. As it said right there. Is that it? Yeah. So that is it now for... Well, that. Well, I guess I could still go into the Aqua Ring and get some of those items. Which means I need to go up through here. Well, yeah, but this is like the fourth time. I know, right? I always liked the Aqua Ring. It's such a it's such a quick place that you go to. But I don't know, I like that you can drain the water and you don't even need to fight anything in here. That the sharks are like so dangerous, but once the water's gone, yeah, they're just floppy fish. Uh so I don't have any items in here. Apparently. I thought we would, but I guess not. I guess it's just for getting rid of plant 42. Looks like your jaws have been... I wish I had glasses. Well, we'll, we'll mime it. Fried. Man, I wish I had sunglasses lying around. I should get some just for those occasions. Q Miami, like... CSI Miami theme. That was a CSI Miami thing, right? Yeah! Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Never actually watched CSI. I'd played the games. I thought the games are games are okay. All things considered. And the games actually did teach me something kind of interesting. Um now, once again, I was fairly young when I played my first CSI Miami game. But one thing I will always remember for some reason is during one mission where they on the crime scene you like find glass like shattered outside like from a window and the glass is like on the outside of the window and that's when they kind of teach you like ah oh, you know if, if the glass is on the outside then that means whatever happened would have come in from the inside of the house and gone outside because otherwise it would have been the glass would be in in the house and not outside the house and that made little me go, 
You know what? That makes a lot of sense. And then ever since then, I've, I've always kept that in my mind for some reason. Just like, oh yeah, you know, if you see... I think I even talked about this during, like, what was it? During that one game. Um, the one that we played from the bundle. The one with, like, the pixel art near the detective and, and it's the future and dystopian. That one. Um, I think I even mentioned it because I'm like... I'm like, oh yeah, you know, the glass, it goes out, if it went out this way, that means it was broken from the inside. And that's all from the CSI game. I may have never watched the show, discard that key. I may have never watched the show, but that piece of info from the game will always stick with me. It's so obvious too, but I don't know, back then I was like, oh yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so it was six, five, three. Lacuna. That was uh, bees. Yeah, Lacuna. That was it. Thank you very much, Bass Ackwards. I don't know why I couldn't remember it. I knew it started with an L. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. Ah, Chris being dumb, how dare you? Yeah, so Chris can't mix. He can't mix the V-Jolt. He's too dumb. Chris is too dumb to mix V-Jolt. I will take this. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't even worry about it. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll take the map. I like how the map is also kind of there to trick you a little bit. But it's like, oh, there's a hole, and then you investigate the hole, and then bees come out, little wasps. I'm trying to think if I should put some stuff away and if I should take anything out. I'll put some stuff away and I'll take some stuff out. I'm having like a small debate. Okay, so let's try not to get grabbed by the tentacle. Nah, I, I, the box, the box is messed up. That's like guaranteed to happen every time, I guess. Darn. I mean, it won't matter after this anyway, I guess, but still kind of annoying. I think that happened the first time I played this on the stream as well, actually. I think I did the same thing. I still have six shots in that shotgun. Maybe I'll just use that on like a zombie later. Just clear out the zombie. Hmm. Now, do I want to take the Magnum? I mean, the Magnum would kill it pretty quickly, and I know I'm not going to use, like... Uh, hmm. Hmm. No, I think I can just use the shotgun. I think I can just use the shotgun. I don't think I need to use the Magnum. See, I know I can, though. See, it's the thing. I know I can use the Magnum, and I probably should, but to me, it's like, well, do I really need to? No, not really. I don't really need to use the Magnum. 
I can just use the shotgun. Shotgun works fine. You know, why why fits it's not broken, etc. etc. 